In this video, we're gonna be using the Club Dirty Ginger and the Alpha Outlaw Safety Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. It is Friday, we have made it, and we look forward to a beautiful shave today, and I hope you have one too, wherever you are. Okay, today's soap is the Shaving Shop Club Dirty Ginger, and the, the club is by Ariana and Evans. And this particular soap has an unusual scent in my view, and I like it because it's unusual. I'm going to put the notes for you on the screen right there. Scent strength on this is medium high, I would call it. It's a very interesting scent. You definitely get the ginger, some of the bergamot. Uh, you definitely get some of the tobacco and rum. It's very unusual. I'm not sure it's a scent that everyone would love, but I like it a lot because it's got that ginger vibe to it. It's really, really nice. Uh, if you're a member of the club, you can get this for under $4 an ounce on our cost chart there, which is a fair price, especially for a soap of this quality. This now comes in the Kaizen 2 uh, formula. We'll put the ingredients for you on the screen in Kaizen 2. The one I'm using today, however, is the original uh, ghost milk formula, which is still a stellar formula in my opinion. And we look forward to using this again uh, I think I've only ever used it one time, so <laughs> it'll be my second use ever. Also, don't forget tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, we will be on Real Talk with Sneaky Pete of A&E slash The Club. So be there or be nowhere. The razor for today is the Alpha Outlaw Razor, which is 316L stainless steel. I got it at the Razor Company for about $139. This is made in Hong Kong or machined in Hong Kong. It's very similar to the Executive Shaving Outlaw Razor, pretty much the same razor, probably minus the uh, Alpha logo uh, there. This is the 0.72 blade gap. And I want to mention, if you're in the UK, you can get this razor at Executive Shaving. And I have a promo code right there, IMCDB5. If it still works, you can get 5% off. So if you're looking to buy something at Executive Shaving, give that a shot. The Outlaw version, this one is the Alpha version and it's sold here in America. Okay, before we get started, I want to uh, demonstrate one thing because there was a gentleman yesterday that asked, why don't you wait more days so we can see growth because you don't look like you're shaving anything. I just want to demonstrate something. F first of all, I hope you can see the <laughs> see that there, but I'm gonna take this card right here and listen to this, listen. See how smoothly that moves with almost no sound? Now listen to this. Can you hear that? There is growth there, people. Hear that? Again, for demonstration, smooth, almost no sound. So, yes, there's growth here, and I want to demonstrate that just to show that gentleman, should he be watching. Okay, let's get into it. We're going to start by misting the face. I have a little under 24 hours growth today on the Everyday Shaver because I love shaving. Um, I don't wait to cut the grass for three weeks until it gets, you know, nine inches tall. I cut it when I like to cut it and when it's fun to cut it. And the same thing with shaving here. By the way, excellent quality soap. Even this old goat's milk base is fantastic. I think Pete could have stopped there, to be honest with you, as far as quality. I mean, I know people really appreciate the skin food and so on. Um, and I will continue to say this. If you are looking for a skin foodie soap that lathers easily and well without needing to use twice as much product or spend a lot of time or worrying about washing it out with water, look no further than the A&E. It, it will provide you a tremendous lather, even though it has all the butters and oils and you know the Super Blue Emu now and the, the Dragon Tallow and the goat's milk <laughs> and Chupacabra oil and you know. Uh, it has all those things, but remains easy to lather, you know. And so it is. it would be my go-to choice if you um, if skin conditioning is really important or the post-shave. Now, to me, it's not all that important, but I love these scents and I like the soaps very much. The quality, you know, I, I just think the quality of the A&E product or the club product is, is first rate. And, so, and I think as, as far as skin food soaps go, um, it's at the top of the heap because it will it will lather easily, like soaps that lather easily, without the pain in the rear of being super finicky, as some soaps are. Okay, 
Alpha Outlaw Razor. Very nice. You hear that? Hear that feedback there? Hope you can hear that. Very nice indeed. I enjoyed using this razor. This is only my second time using it. The knurling on this handle. Now in America, this handle is called the Bravo handle. I think on the executive shaving version, it's called something different. And Alpha is a partner with the executive shaving on this razor. So it's essentially the same razor with different branding, depending on whether you get it from Alpha or here in America or uh, from the UK. It's a nice shaver, probably underrated, I would say. Again, it's made in Hong Kong or machined in Hong Kong, at least. Um, and in my last video, there were people who were telling me it was made in the, uh, in the UK, uh, according to Alpha's website, it is machined in Hong Kong. So please keep that in mind. I don't ever seek to mislead anybody. Um, and I certainly wouldn't say something was made in Hong Kong if I didn't, uh, <laughs> if I wouldn't have uh, researched it ahead. So keep that in mind. And I believe executive, or excuse me, Alpha is the one who has both razors made, if I'm not mistaken. And again, uh, Steve, I believe his name is Steve from Alpha, can correct me on that if I am wrong. They partnered on this razor. And it is a nice razor and it's affordable. It's got some good rinse ports down there. It's handsome. Um, the knurling on it is terrific. It has one of the most grippy handles that I think I've ever experienced. It is um, similar uh, to, the, to the Rex in terms of knurling. In terms of grippiness, now the Rex is more confined, it's more refined on its pattern and, you know, it's it, it feels a little nicer in the hand, but this one is super grippy and, and nice. And the razor comes to you at a good price. This is the 0.72 blade gap. I believe they do have two different versions, so you can get a milder one if you please. This one is perfect for me. I really like it. All right, back to the soap here. Really nice stuff, as you can see there in the lather. This is the, again, this is the old goat's milk. I do believe the old goat's milk formula, but now this is in Kaizen 2, or maybe even Kaizen 2 E, I can't recall. The E in the Kaizen 2 now, I'm dripping a little bit here. Let me rinse the handle off. The E in the Kaizen 2 is that Pete has now included uh, emu oil for some additional skin conditioning. Sometimes I do worry that we're gonna push the envelope too far, because like I've said before, um, I think um, the more, there's a delicate balance between the amount of skin conditioners you can add in the soap and latherability. So you can sort of kill the, that, the latherability with too much skin food. And I've, I've found recently that some brands have just gone too far into that for my liking and I got rid of them. They're just not, they're excellent soaps once you get them lathered, but I don't want to be fooling around all day and worrying about getting too much water and washing them out. And, uh, and so I'm not gonna, I, I want my shaves to be enjoyable. And if I'm having to be super careful about the lather because it's gonna get washed out with water because it's got, it doesn't have enough lathering agent in it to, to produce a good lather the way I lather. Let me caveat that. I don't wanna use it. And I'm not gonna waste my time with it. And so that doesn't mean that any of those soaps are bad for you. Your use case should be paramount. Like what you appreciate in the soap should be paramount. And for me, fun <laughs> and enjoyment is paramount. That's, that's goal number one. I already know I'm going to get a good shave because there's so many great soaps on the market. All of them are pretty good at this point, to be honest. So if the soap and the latherability suffers and I have to be let, let me put it to you this way. If I lather, you know, um, how many shaves do I do a year? It's, it's a ton because I shave every day and I do four or five head shaves a week. Uh, so I'm, I'm lathering tons and tons of different soaps every single year. And if 95% of them lather well with no issue, then I'm not going to waste my time with the 5% that are finicky or that I have to ju jump through hoops for. Just not gonna do it. It's, it's, 
that's not fun for me. It doesn't fit within what I want to do and it doesn't, doesn't make it enjoyable. Now, other people, maybe they tub load, maybe they, uh, maybe they don't use as much water. They have great experiences with these soaps and that is fantastic, but I'm just not going to fool with them. You should not either. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not saying you shouldn't uh, use particular brands. I'm just saying if something isn't enjoyable, even if it's A and E here, which I like, if it's a non, if it's not enjoyable for you, don't use it. Um, there's too many products out there that are that will fit your individual use case, which again is paramount to be to be worrying about ones that don't really do what you want them to do, or you know. <clears throat> They don't allow you to achieve your goals in the way that you want to. But I will say this, all of the formulas at A&E have been fantastic. Everything he's ever, ever produced. And uh, I think, uh, you know, again, when it comes to skin conditioning soaps, and, I, and again, I don't evaluate this, so I'm going on the word of most other people who say it's, it is a top rate in terms of post and skin conditioning. And also it doesn't, it doesn't achieve those things at the expense of lather making. So think, think about that and uh, keep that in mind. However, if your skin is super sensitive and you need a certain brand of soap, maybe it is a little finicky to lather and it just works well for you, then go with it. Just do whatever is enjoyable and what works best for you. And uh, I certainly will do that as well. All right, man, excellent stuff here. Even this goat's milk formula is top rate. I really, really enjoy it. So in the coming weeks, um, I will probably unload more. Uh, when I find soaps that just are a pain in the neck, I'm not gonna fool with them. I will move them along and I wanna use products that really make it fun. And today this is fun, you know, this is, Really, really nice. And enjoyable. And the razor, this is a good razor too. I mean, I've seen people use it. I know the folks in the UK are a big fan of this razor and rightly so, it is a good shaver. Really nice, I think. It is not bad at all. One of the things I wanna mention was, I was seeing John Shays 101, um, maybe a week or so ago. And I remember when he first got some Ariana soaps and uh, you know, a lot of us were talking about how great the scents were and, and he was really excited. And then when he got them, he couldn't get any scent off them almost. And he was super disappointed. Well, about a week or so ago, he revisited those soaps and it's been probably a few months at least. And all of a sudden they, they had more scent and he was like, hey, I'll, they have scent. And so maybe, I don't know if maybe, you know, uh, his sniffer was malfunctioning at the time, or maybe those soaps just needed to rest a little bit. Maybe they'd been hot or cold or, you know, but, uh, he, he had made a video where it was like, there was no scent then, but there is now. <laughs> so keep that in mind. When you first get soap, sometimes it might take a little bit of time, depending on the conditions they've been in, you know, hot trucks and airplanes and who knows what. So please keep that in mind. Nice shaver here. I am really pleased with the shaver. Uh, $139 again is what I paid for it um, at the razor company. However, I did look and they did not have any stock. And so I have linked Bulgu Shaving. If you're in the United, St United States interested in this razor. And of course, again, we mentioned if you're in the UK, check out Executive Shaving. You can try that IMCDB5 code for 5% off. And if it still works, it also helps the channel. So if you're interested in this razor, either the UK version or the the, uh, the version that's for sale here in the United States, you know, check it out. Really nice shave today. I, this was enjoyable. Let me rinse, we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back in off cam. We did a warm water rinse, remove the soap, and then we applied our alum no sting. So that was a super smooth shave. Following the alum, we did a cold water rinse. And then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the Thayer's Cucumber Watermelon Witch Hazel. Magic, because it's made by witches. I had an excellent shave today with the Shaving Shop Club 
Uh, this is called Dirty Ginger. Really nice, unique scent. I loved it. It was absolutely superb. Had an excellent shave. Also, with the Outlaw Razor from Alpha Shaving, you can also get it at Executive Shaving. Very nice razor at a very nice price. Stainless steel. Big thumbs up on that. And we're going to close it out today with the Big Top um, by The Club, which is a very unusual scent as well. By the way, I forgot to mention the blade. The blade for today was the Persona Lab Blue. And of course we had our Lancaster, or a, not our, our Captain's Choice Copper Bowl and the Orion and Evans Synthetic Brush. Okay, sorry to get all confused there and discombobulated. It's been a long week. Anyway, little, let's roll with a little bit of Big Top here. And I'm gonna be off to the races and having a great day. I hope to see you tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Instagram. Again, links for all that will be below. Hope to see you there, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.